today's grocery haul is being brought to you by two piggies snuggled up in blankets. This is Tuesday's grocery haul for the week. Uh, there is more in bags, but I'll pull those out. So we'll start with the producey stuff. Um, a frozen bag of carrot peas and corn. This is for our gnocchi bake dinner, which is happening at the end of the week on Saturday. We have one box, half a one box for tonight's uh, dinner. We're doing a sukiyaki hot pot, so we use like thinly sliced beef and one box, and we cook them over the stove. Um, just one avocado because we're doing chicken cheese chili tomorrow and the next day but the avocados were $3.50 each and they were either super squishy or rock hard so sadly I think I have one avocado in the fridge so hopefully that one's okay and two mangoes but they're perfect at the moment this one did a, get a little bit beaten up coming through the doorway because it got banged against the door frame but it is still looking not too bad and I have some left over in the fridge as well but um, I'm probably gonna have some mango today and just a two kilo bag of white potatoes that are good for mashing because we have baked potato not baked potato we have bangers and mash again for next Tuesday so we need those here is the stuff for the fridge we have two blocks of light cream cheese for the chicken cheese chili tomorrow, uh, two bottles of UHT, these are actually pantry UHT not fridge UHT because we don't keep UHT in the fridge unless we are about to use it. When I say we, I mean Mr. Moose, um, but we ran out of those. Uh, a pack of chicken nuggets because I think I'm going to have these, some of these for lunch. Um, I went off my nugget phase because I think I had nuggets every day for like two months but I kind of wanted them today so and this is new I've not seen this before it's a Yumi brand medium heat chipotle hummus which looks really tasty because I hate hummus because it tastes like pencil shavings but I love chipotle so I'm really interested to try this and I bought some crackers to try with it as well that I will show you later and then just a can of light whipped cream um, we still have about half a can left in the fridge that I use for coffee every day. Um, but we've also got three leftover scones from the high tea on the weekend. And we have bought some jam so we could eat those. And we'll probably end up using the cream. Uh, I had to top up the cat food. So I've got four cans of this um, chicken chunks with shredded beef. Which is mainly liquid. But... We've also been giving the cats a couple of teaspoons of tuna every night with their, uh, the rest of their food because they do love tuna, but um, you shouldn't really give your cat like a heap of seafood, so we try to sort of limit that. And then we just get them the Ultimates um, cans. We try to go for the awful variation, so like the ones with the chicken liver and stuff like that. So there's eight of those, four of these, a couple of big things of tuna, and also this is handy because then if I want tuna at some point, there's always tuna in the fridge. Um, so that's handy. And this is actually for the dogs. It's just got some cottage cheese to go with their dinner. Um, they either get like coconut oil or cream cheese or egg or um, various types of extra protein. And a little bit of um, like dairy to help their poops and stuff. So that's for them. And this is the rest of the stuff of the pantry. Oh, hang on. These as well. So I'll start over here, I guess. Um, just some traditional hot cross buns for Mr. Moose, which we will put up here for our stash. Um, I've never tried these before. They're veggie chips. I mean, I've tried veggie chips before, but I've not tried these ones. Uh, the sour cream and herb flavor. Um, so I thought they might be nice to dip into the chipotle dip that I got. And also, I'm going to be doing a bit of mindless snacking 
what with my assignments and exam prep and stuff so I thought it'd be nice to have something a bit slightly maybe slightly healthier than regular chips which I also got um, but yeah this is this is not too bad so got those and then the other chips I got were these ones um, oh, I only got the veggie chips because they were like half price. They were like $1.75. So that was the incentive to buy them. Um, these are on sale, I think, for $3 for the packet, maybe. I could be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. But um, I love sweet chili and sour cream flavor, and they look delicious. So those as well. And then I got these bagel crisps to try. Um, also, what? Oh. Yes, back to the grocery haul. This happens, you know, we get interrupted by cute things. Like this. These are our, I don't know if I've showed you guys these before. These are our drawer handles. This one's coming out a bit, but. I like them. The only bad thing is if you wear like a loose knit kind of cardigan, it gets caught on these guys. Um, and also if you walk into the into like this section too quickly you stab yourself in the crotch but they're pretty cute and the cats really love like scratching their heads like on here <laughs> so it's kind of funny anyway uh so we got some bagel crisps um i've got some uh caviar dip left over so they look nice i didn't buy any bread for myself this week so i figured um instead of bread i've got lots of different tasty carbs to snack on and then these tortilla strips are for chicken cheese chili night to dip our chicken cheese chili in. Out. Out. Out you go. You can sit there. Sit. 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 If you're gonna wait, you can sit patiently. Oh, join me again in two seconds, I bet you. Okay, then we've got some original shapes for Mr. Moose. He's been a very good Mr. Moose lately, so I thought he should get some of these. Also because I have all the snacks and he doesn't have anything. Uh, some taco spice mix for the chicken cheese chili. Um, these are all for the chicken cheese chili. We've got diced tomatoes. Black beans, two cans of corn kernels. I couldn't find the super sweet corn kernels in this size. Um, so I guess regular corn kernels will do, but I don't know how much of a difference it makes. And then some uh, condensed cream of chicken can for the gnocchi bake, which is on the next weekend, this weekend sometime. Um, Strawberry jam for our scones, maple syrup for Mr. Moose's pancake sundaes. Uh, these are smaller cans, they're like maybe half the size of these ones. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to be able to just eat corn from the can as a side because I really like corn and if I buy the big can to eat for myself I can't get through it before it kind of smells weird so small can and then finally we've just got a big uh, muesli flake cereal for Mr. Moose's breakfast. There were also a couple of household items I'd forgotten about just some sandwich bags and Nurofen. Um, not sure if I'm gonna count Nurofen as part of the household budget because I feel like maybe we should have a separate like medicine budget because we do buy a lot of things regularly like we buy Avil for Tilly um, every couple of months we buy um i probably go through a box of neurofin every couple of weeks mr moose does the same thing with panadol um we both take polaramine every day so and then i've got like my uh depot injection and then the nexium <clears throat> for the reflux and stuff so maybe it should have its own separate budget i don't know um 
But then it gets confusing because, like, do I put the cat and dog medicine stuff, like their flea treatments and stuff, in the medicine budget, or does it go in the dog and cat budget? And then, like, do their vet treatments, their vet bills go in their budget or the medicine budget? And it just gets a bit confusing. Though. Hey guys, this is Wednesday's dog meat uh, haul, I guess. Um, so there was really not much at Tasman. Midweek, they really struggled to like fulfill the dog meat area, so I kind of had to get stuff that I normally wouldn't get, but was a little bit cheaper and some stuff that I. So the other night, Mr. Moose popped out to the supermarket. Uh, he just picked up some shampoo and conditioner for himself and some ibuprofen, um, cheese slices, and baby wipes for the kitchen. So that was an extra $34.15. Today's grocery haul was brought to you by Wilfred. Who is that cool little Wilfred? Yeah. Yeah, you're a cool little Wilfred. So this is the carby stuff we got. Uh, we dropped by the bakery part of Coles and I got this amazing weird pink donut with tiny M&Ms all over it and Mr. Moose got a cinnamon fruit skull which he appears to already have been nibbling and two loaves of bread these crumpets which appear to have fallen into our trolley says Mr. Moose and six damper inspired rolls but look look at how squishy they are And uh, some chocolate hot cross buns because their Coles doesn't have mocha hot cross buns. And some muesli for Mr. Moose. And here is the produce. <laughs> Mr. Moose and I are, are questioning what makes produce. <laughs> so he wants to put the eggs in. But I reckon the eggs go in with like the dairy section. So here is the produce. <laughs> We got a cooked chicken for sandwiches, maybe this week. Um, two avocados, some sliced mango from the Scoop and Whey place they have it called. I love that thing. No, that's part of the dairy. It goes in the fridge. Jesus. And some baby spinach, green capsicum, a trust tomato from the Moose. And half a wombok for our next hot pot night. And apparently this orange juice and these eggs for pancakes tomorrow. Shush, the next right. section. Oh shush. You're writing the you're ruining the movie. Jeez. The pantry food, we got some smooth peanut butter. Crunchy. <clears throat> Barbecue rib sauce. Uh we may have splurged on some tea um this tea was actually on sale though and it's quite cheap to begin with and delicious the tea bag. what the tea bag is not special it's just all this tea really how much were these Three or something. that's still pretty cheap mm. for like 15 tea bags anyway so i haven't seen this evening stuff before i haven't tried it but it sounds pretty tasty so it's good and we both like white tea um i didn't want to get any more loose tea because we've got so much loose tea but they didn't have this in tea bags and they didn't have this in tea bags either and that is mr moose's choice because i don't like those and two cans of barbecue baked beans for mr moose and some taco sauce for taco night later this week for household stuff we got some lemon scented bleach for the pool. It didn't have we, unscented bleach. We could just put lemons from the tree into the pool. That doesn't <laughs> do the same thing. Uh, some paper towels and these little plastic bowls. Are they just plastic? Yes. 
Um, the I think the pink, blue, and mint colored ones will work well in my study area on my shelving, and they're small enough. So I'm gonna see how those work. Um, and not part of household because there's only two things left. Some milk, Mr. Moose, there you go. And some plas many, many, many slices of plastic cheese for me because I suddenly felt like plastic cheese. Hey guys, we're back from Tasman. We spent $49.49 on three packs of lamb necks, uh, five packs of uh, lamb flaps, there's like seven I think packs of chicken carcasses and some blue grenadier for the doggos. Um, it was super slim pickings again, it was just like that was pretty much all there was and we just bought them out. Um, there were some more chicken carcasses but and actually I should have just stocked up on chicken carcasses but they're quite big and we don't really have that much space so um, this is what we're working with and um, I'm just looking for I mean seven days of food would be ideal because I've got exams early next week and I won't have time to go out on the weekend um, but if we can get to four or five days then potentially Mr. Moose can go out and pick up enough to get us through the exam period so now I need to repackage this and here is our receipt total 49.49 we saved eight dollars and sixteen cents at Tasman